Hello friends, greetings from Jordan. I greet you from the hometown of Prophet Elijah. We came here to the site which is called Mar Elia site. I will read you. Recent ecological excavations carried out by the Department of Antiquities at Mar Elia site here in 1999 have discovered here a grand church that dates back to the 6th century. And the area had been discovered is big. In the church is about 1,300 square meters around the church, an immense church. And it was built, it dates back to the late 5th century. This site held whole significance as it is associated with the prophet Elijah, Elijah, you know, to to the whole significance as it associates with this prophet. A memorial of whom the church was dedicated according to the Greek inscription found on the site. The old man priest Shabbat is a gift from himself and his wife. This work is devoted to the sacred church of Prophet Elijah. Apparently nearby village of Less Step in the vicinity of church is probably the same Tishbi mentioned in the Old Testament as birthplace of Prophet Elijah. So we came here to the hometown of Prophet Elijah went in heaven in chariot and as you know when he prayed uh, rain stopped it too for seven years in Israel there was no rain and then he prayed again and there came rain he was very holy man still very much venerated in the Orthodox Church you know so and here is the church obviously the ruins. You see the ruins of the church. Eliyahu. In Hebrew, he was called Navi Eliyahu. He used to live here in Tishbe, here in the hills of Gilead, in the tribe of Menashe ancient Israel we came to his hometown the name of name of the site is attributed to prophet Elijah named in the Bible a part of historical Tishbe recently called tell Marilias let's step where a prophet Elijah was born prophet Elijah lived in the fifth in the ninth century before Christ and became stalker from one of local rulers and his wife called it Amri ben Ahabe. At the end of his life he ascended to heaven with a chariot of fire from side east of Jordan. It is believed to be Ma Mount Mar Elias uh, close to <coughs> close to Jordan. That's where we have been already. You see there are many churches here you see lower church, the large upper church. This is how the neighborhood Gilead looks like, the mounds of Gilead. They are very much like Samaria. This is uh, ancient Israel. Modern Israel is on the other side. And here in Gilead we have 80% of Old Testament events taking place here. And now we came here on the sunset with Nina. And we have Jordan Pass, so we are allowed to enter here for free. And I wanted to show you, to make this video for you. See all the trees, to show you the church. This is the church, you see the columns of the church and the mosaic. Before 6th century, church floor was made of mosaic. You see early Christians from the 5th century they venerated this site very much, associated with the hometown of Prophet Elijah. We don't know exactly what had been taking place, but the memory was passing by through centuries, and by the in the early fifth century, people still uh, Jewish people still have been living here around uh, in times of Christ, and they obviously knew. They obviously knew 
the importance of this site for some reason. You see people are, are putting uh, pieces of clothes on the tree for I don't know why. It's obviously venerated also by the Muslims and because he's also mentioned it in the Quran. But here is the altar of the church where you have the tree, there was altar here, and they were making the sacrifice to Jesus Christ, you know, God, God, uh, Christian sacrifice, you know, when the Lamb of God is sacrificed to Jesus Christ, you know, there was here, and we make a small prayer here on the hill of Prophet Elijah. I will address Prophet Elijah because we Orthodox Christians we pray to Elijah and we pray to the saints. So I wish you all the best. Greetings from Tishbe, hometown of Prophet Elijah, the ruins of this town somewhere around this church, around this hill. Listip, there is a town of Listip, village we were driving through. But this is the, obviously the ancient site, ancient Listip, Tishbe. Anyway, wish you all the best. Be well. Friends again from Tishbe, hometown of Prophet Elijah in Gilead Mountains in Jordan. We came here uh, and I showed you the upper church and now I will show you the lower church here in uh, Tishbe. Uh, this is the lower church which had been discovered here on the hill of Prophet Elijah next to his village. That's how this hill is called. Hill prophet of Elijah, and here had been there. Here had been two churches dedicated to this prophet. One up there, you saw it. I show it to you where you have three olive tree growing right in the middle middle of the altar. And now we are in the lower church. Obviously, the altar was here somewhere. You see, that's where I am. Somewhere here was the altar of the lower church, and. Here are people putting candles to Prophet Elijah with incense. You can buy it in the gates. You see, we also did it. And uh, here you see the image of Prophet Elijah. Uh, it's written in Arabic letters. You see, it's Prophet Elijah. Eliyahu in Hebrew. And Jesus Christ is also here. So, uh, I sent you greetings from Tishba, from the hometown of Prophet Elijah, ancient Israel in Jordan, here in the land of tribe of Manasseh, Manasseh, Ma, Ma, in English, I think, Manasseh in Hebrew. Here we are in Gilead. Why here is such presence? Well, actually, he gives it for free. You see, here is the incense candle and prophet Elijah here at the gates and for presents if you come here for your relatives you just ask the man who works here and he will sell you such presents uh, this prophet Elijah will give it free and he gives it for free but it's good to give him, him some dinners so uh, that's how it looks here hometown of prophet Elijah ancient Israel Jordan, land of Jordan. It's a very powerful saint, you know. He was fed by ravens in the desert. Ravens were bringing food for him. He prayed, and there was no rain in Israel for seven years. And then he prayed again, and there was rain, you know. And he was taken in fear chair up to heaven. He's one of the mightiest prophets on earth. Uh, miracles happening due to his intercession, even nowadays. Here you see Nina, she is also here. But Hello, my friend. Chilly here in the evenings. In the evening. She sends you greetings from Jordan. You see how many candles Trudium, Trudium. of Prophet Elijah she has? She tells it's all for the friends. Many olive trees here. So, now our next destination will be in Gerash or Geraza, that's where Jesus had been preaching. According to Valtorta, many events, many preachings from the New Testament uh, took place in Gerasa, in Gerash, and it's very well preserved Roman city, not far from here, that's where we are driving next. It's also here in Gilead Mountains, in the 
in the ancient Gilead, in the ancient Israel. Now it is Jordan. See flag of Jordan. This holy land here. This is the gates to this complex. This is a, a friend who works here. Shukran. Bye. Bye. So, site management tickets. We have Jordan Pass, so we didn't have to pay anything. And uh, now we start driving to. You see, this is a site. Tel Mar Elias. Tel Mar Elias. Tel is means Mount Mar Saint in Aramaic. Mar is Saint in Aramaic. Elias Elijah. Eliyahu. The inscription in the ancient church reads The priest dedicated this church for himself and his wife to the prophet Elijah in 7, 622 AD. So we wish the church, thanks God, feel very much blessed and time to continue our journey uh, to Geraz, Geraza, the most well preserved city of Jordan. Here, see it. from the country of Jordan, Jordan, Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. It's you, ancient Israel. The neighborhoods of Tishbe, um, the hometown of Prophet Elijah, uh, reminds Samaria very much. Here, as you see, those uh, white rocks, like on Mount Carmel, very much the same. You see such rocks also around Jerusalem, if you have been there, and many olive trees. So, I wish you all the best. Greetings from Jordan. <laughs>